Hey guys, guess what example we are on? Example number 11. Okay, so let's get this done. The height and the radius of a, of a right, cylinder, right circular cylinder are equal. So the cylinder's volume, so volume is given to us as pi times h to the cube. The volume is to be calculated with an error of no more. Whoa, that's my phone. Ha! That's my favorite song. Okay. Of no more than 1% of its true value. So let's spell that out. An error. Okay, so the volume. Volume. It should be calculated with an error of no more than 1% of the true value. Find approximately the greatest error that can be tolerated in the measure of h and give it to me as a percentage. So earlier, as you remember, we were looking for the percentage of the change in, in radius or we were looking for dr or we were looking for ds or d, not ds, I'm sorry, dx because it was the change in on the side if we're talking about a cube. Um, now we're kind of going backwards. I'm giving you the change in the volume, which means that's ds, okay? The change in volume, it says here. But remember that when you are talking about error, it can be bigger or it can be smaller. So we are going to talk about an absolute value. The change in the volume cannot be more than 1% of the true value. True value of what? True value of the volume, obviously, because we're talking about the volume. So if it's talking about no more than 1%, so technically I can have 1%, just not more than that. So that's why it's an equal sign there. So guess what? We, um, we're going to have to find the derivative. So let's use your volume equation. Find ds with respect to h. So that's going to be 3 pi h squared. Let's find ds. ds is 3 pi h squared times dh. That's what ds is. Now we're going to take it and we're going to plug it in here. Well, ds, I know ds. ds, ds, let's substitute it in. And remember, I'm using an absolute value, meaning that the chain can go either way in the positive direction or the negative direction. So 3 pi h squared dh is less than or equal to 1%. Let's convert that to decimal, so 0.01 times the volume. We have volume. Yes, ma'am. Volume. Oh, that's super fat. Volume is pi h cubed. Okay, so that's the volume. So now let's do basic math. As you know, we are trying to solve for dh. So I have to get it by itself. Now, just because I'm putting an absolute value around it, because the reason the absolute value is around it is because to represent the change can be in the negative or positive direction. Now, when you're solving for it, you don't need to worry about it. We're just going to divide both sides by 3 pi h squared. 3, 3 pi h squared. Cancel, cancel. So dh, okay, it's going to be an absolute value just because the change, again, can be in positive or negative direction. Let's see what happens. Um, over here, what's happening? The h squared is going to cancel with the h squared. The pi is going to cancel with the pi. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. There's one h left. I should say that. Um, so now I have no more than 0.01 h divided by 3. Let's multiply it by 100 to get, a, to get rid of decimals, okay? So we have dh, absolute value of dh is less than or equal to 1 h over 300. I can work with that. So, as you can see, I just now need to find the percentage. To find the percentage, I just have to multiply by 100. So if I multiply by 100, the change in H cannot be, cancel out the zeros, so one third of a percent of H. And what is H? H is the height, okay? So now, let's spell that out. We are going to say the height should be measure with an error, which is, remember, dh is the error for height of no more.
than one third of a percent. Okay, so that's what all of that is. I spell that out in verbals, so that way we know what I'm talking about. This is one third percent. There's an H, that means it's all of the height. So uh, math and, uh, and English, okay, whenever you are interpreting it, that's what it means. Last problem of chapter four. Okay, the surface area of the sphere is to be calculated with an error of no more than 1% of its true value. Again, this darn no more 1%. So I would need a surface area. And so that means surface area of the sphere is going to be 4 pi r squared. I'm probably going to need to do the derivative with respect to r. So let's take care of it. That's 8 pi times r. Let's solve for d. Oops, let's solve for ds. So ds equals 8 pi r dr. All right, let's leave it alone. Okay, so an error of no more than 1% of its true value. That means your change in surface area is no more than 1% of the surface area. That's what I mean, right? So let's figure it out. ds is this guy. Let's plug it in. An absolute value, 8 pi r dr less than or equal to 0.01 surface area it's right there let's plug that in 4 pi r squared let's solve for dr divide both sides by 8 pi r divide both sides by 8 pi r with that we can cancel out that and that we currently have dr left by itself let's cancel some things on this side let's see I have one R left on the top. A pi and the pi will be gone. A four and the eight will give me two. So that will leave me 0 0.01 over two of the radius. Let's multiply this so I can get rid of fractions. I normally don't like, I'm not fractions, decimals. I don't like having decimals and fraction all of this together. So I'm gonna multiply the top by 100. That means multiply the bottom by 100, just so that way I can have the fractions all by itself. So no more than one over 200 over the radius okay that's what multiplication is for the radius but it wants it in percentage so that's just really going to multiply this by 100 so with that dr is going to be no more than cancel the zeros half of a of a percent and then because of r of the actual radius of radius okay so how do we spell all of that out the radius should be, should be, not should me, should be measure with an error, which is, remember, dr should be measured, uh, the radius should be measured with an error of no more than half of a percent, or you can even write 0.5% or you can write half of a percent of the actual value of the radius. Okay. And that's sort of, you can probably write a better interpretation than that, but that's pretty much what it's about. So as you can see, this one, I gave you the percentage of error in either dr, I mean not dr, sorry, ds, or dv, um, or sometimes if I give you area, then it'll be da, and you're going backwards to find either dr or dh, which is the height, right, the change in the height, or sometimes a side if it's talk about a cube. Um, remember earlier in the early examples, we've went and go the other route, so make sure you know how to do all of them. And that's it, it's an egg roll.